Welcome back to the Taikin Ramen channel. Today we're making Tan Tan Men, which is a delicious, warm, creamy soup for winter. We'll be making two different tonkotsus and three different tares. Let's get started. We're gonna make a pretty by the numbers tonkotsu. Add some pork neck bones to a pot, cover in water, and soak overnight. The next day, drain off all of the forbidden Kool-Aid you made, and then blanch the bones for 10 minutes apiece. Once we've got our bones nice, clean, and free of funk, we'll cover in water one more time, and then put on the stove and bring to a rolling boil. We'll cover this rolling boil and leave these bones to cook for anywhere from 12 to 18 hours. Past 12 hours, your tonkotsu will be done. I like to dip a spatula in just to see how thick and opaque the soup is. That's how I know when the soup is done to my liking, and this soup went for about 18 hours. We're straining the soup out over a wire strainer and a cheesecloth. And our tonkotsu is complete. And we have a second soup going side by side. Now when you're boiling a soup for more than 12 hours or overnight, a lot of water is going to evaporate out. Typically when the water gets to about three quarters of the original level, I'll refill with new water. But we're making a variation on tonkotsu to be nice, smoky, and rich. So I'm going to let the water level in one of these tonkotsus get down to about one quarter of what I started with. Here you can see the soup is turning this luscious brown color. That's because little bits of bone and meat are burning on the bottom of the pot. After the soup has burned just a touch, I'm going to fill it back up to the top with water, bring it to a boil to reincorporate, and then strain. And what we get is an earthy, smoky, delicious variation on a beautiful tonkotsu. Here you can see side by side that functionally these soups behave the same, just with a different color tone. All right, make way for the food processor. We're gonna make three different tares with three distinct flavor profiles. The first is gonna be very classic and nutty. Start with one half cup tahini, one quarter cup chopped peanuts, and one quarter cup cashews. Add one half tablespoon white sesame seeds, one quarter cup roasted sesame oil, one third cup soy sauce, one half teaspoon MSG, one cup soy milk, and one teaspoon chili oil or chili crisp in this case. Then process these all until it's completely smooth. And our first tar is complete. This second one is going to be a little sweeter and very nostalgic because we're starting with peanut butter. Add one half cup of creamy peanut butter. I'm using Skippy brand. One half tablespoon black sesame seeds. One quarter cup toasted sesame oil. One third cup soy sauce. One cup of soy milk. And a tablespoon of chili crisp. Process until it's smooth. And our second tare is complete. This last one is going to complement our smoky burned tonkotsu. It's going to be smoky and feature burnt garlic. Add one half cup tahini, one half teaspoon black sesame seeds, one half teaspoon white sesame seeds, one quarter cup toasted sesame oil, one third cup soy sauce, one teaspoon ichimi togarashi, one teaspoon of roasted garlic paste, and one teaspoon of our chili crisp, one cup soy milk, and process to combine. And there you go, three tares done. I mixed and matched the tares and broths and came out with three pretty interesting recipes. First up, a little bowl I like to call up in smoke. This first one starts with two tablespoons of our charred tare, one tablespoon of soy sauce, 400 milliliters of unburnt tonkotsu, and then we'll dress it up with standard noodles, pork, eggs, and chili oil. Second, we've got If It Ain't Broke, Don't Fix It, two tablespoons of our classic tahini tare, 400 milliliters of soup, and all of our favorite fixins. And last but not least, we have what I'm calling Tantan from the kids menu. Two heaping tablespoons of peanut butter tare, 
200 milliliters of unburnt tonkotsu, 200 milliliters of the smoky burnt tonkotsu, and all of our other toppings to follow. Thanks so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure having you. Hopefully you learned something good. Please consider subscribing for more.